And this is the biggest game not only in Texas, but in the country. And it's going to be a three touchdown deficit that Baylor's got to make up. Jacob now checks into the backfield. He walks in, touchdown. Long ball streak on the sideline, touchdown. Good play. They're built to try to come back in this situation. Penny, play action. Oh, Penny, 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 Penny,
Oh yes. Yeah. That's every, when you play in a round robin, you got nine rival games, nine weeks in a row. You know, and that's when you go off and play like we go to West Virginia last year mm -hmm. after having a TCU game at home, go up there, kick off at 11 a.m. our time, and we get beat against a very good football team that was very hungry and really wanted to beat us. So my hat's off to them. But that's what happens when you have nine rival games, and that's what we have. Right. But you say 12-0 and this season. You guarantee it. You're on the record but, in the playoff. Book it. Put it in eight. Yeah, Michelle, we're good even with all the variables that are not in your control when it comes to that playoff? That, you don't need them because, I mean, that's that's solid. I mean, because if you do that in our league, I mean, you're, you're going to defeat some top 10 teams. You're going to at least beat one or two, and you're going to probably hit four or five top 25. So that's that's a resume that's strong enough to, to challenge anybody in America, which we were close last year. We had more top 10 win, wins, you know, than anybody else in America last year. So we're – we're on the cutting edge. I mean, we're in, we're in the hunt, and that's all you can ask for. All you want is a place at the table. Boy, now we got to eat. We look at this schedule, and I know you've peeked at it. It's frightening. It, it really is. For, this, the, for the opponents? Well, for the one we oh, they yeah. face. Yeah. Because I like your yeah. bravado. Yeah. Come on. I like oh, your they, bravado. They, they, we're not supposed to win? No, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Coach, here's what's so refreshing about your stuff. Oh. Okay. Well, okay, and you know where I'm going with this. I hope, I don't know. Coaches can think that in their meeting rooms. They can yeah. preach that to their players, but no, so we... rarely do the coaches yeah. bring that to the to the public. To we're, the not, meeting. we're not trying to fool anybody. You know, we line up, we expect to win. You know, and, and you, you know what you're going to get when you play us. We're going to be dynamic, we're going to be aggressive, we're going to be fearless, and we're not going to make excuses. We're going to play ball. Wow, I, I love the bravado. I love I love the, the frankness, and, and it's just... Transparency. I, I love that because, yeah, coaches will say, well, do you think I'm going to say we're going to lose any games? No, you always go in with that mindset. Yeah. I, it's November 27th, Baylor is at TCU, and I know you've got two circles around that when you have to, right? You know, honestly, we've got SMU games circle on Friday night, ESPN. <laughs> you know, now that's coach talk. Season. Yeah, I mean, no, that's that's reality, smart, though, yeah. Because we're going there, you know, with a new QB and a, and a new team, and we're walking into a stadium that's going to be the, the livest it's ever been because they're playing Baylor, yeah. you know, and so that's that's the situation we're looking at, and that's, that's where our season starts. You're wearing a target now, aren't you? It's big. You know, it's big. I mean, I, I feel like there's snipers up there, you know, yeah. so we <laughs> we got to watch what we're doing, you yeah. know, and we got to be real good at how we're doing it. Well, Coach, you have a new QB. You have a new offensive coordinator with your son, Kendall. What's it like working with him? Such a close family member. I feel like you probably feel like you have more license to be a little bit harder on him than you would a normal OC. Yeah, you know, with Seth, you know, we're excited about Seth. You know, the thing I like about him, you mentioned the QB, you know, the thing I like about Seth is that he walked into the Manning camp and nobody knew who he was. You know, there are 38 to be D1 quarterbacks there. Archie called me a couple weeks earlier and said, Coach, you got somebody? I said, yeah. You know, let Seth come down there and work and see how he does. When he walked out, all 37 of the other ones were saying, there goes Seth Russell because he won the Manning Challenge, you know, out of all of them there. So yeah. that's it's a big deal. And that's kind of the way we've operated is, you know, what's my name? you got to earn, you know, your name. People have to, you got to do something to earn your name. So he did that. With Kendall, you know, it's just what does right. he have to do to earn his name? He's just got to keep the ship straight. You know, he's just got to be calm. He's got to be cool, and he's just got to play within himself. That's all he's got to do. Because we got good people. You know, we got nine back on defense. We got eight back on offense. We got some guys that had won a bunch of football games at a championship level. All different types of experience. Our experience is championship experience. You know, we just got to take that next step. But you know, we're right there. You know, it's not like we're running up to the side of the cliff. We're standing there, so we're ready to go. You know, we're ready to jump, all in. So that's that's a big thing. That's all he's got to do is be right. And with Kendall, you know, it's just the right place at the right time. It's all he's ever known. All he's ever known is how we do things ever since he could say mama. You know, he's known our style of football. Yeah. So it's either, you know, I mean, why you know, why go looking when you got what you what you got? Yeah. And and he's a guy that can do it and has nothing to do with him being my son. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean he's the best guy for the job. I have to ask you about your massive tight end, Laquan McCollin. Uh I watched him last year in the Cotton Bowl on that play where he was wide open and just walks into the end zone. He said that at 6'8", I can't eight, get enough of this. It's awesome. He yeah. said that with pads, he weighed 440 for that game last year. This is a weapon that coaches dream of. How, how do you how do you plan to use him this year? Will we see more of this? You know, the, the, the strange thing about this, Jay, is that it's really an experiment, you know, but yeah. it, it's a yeah. chance for him to help our football team. We really didn't feel like he was an 85 play player game, maybe 14 to 25, so it's a way to utilize him. I mean, we're doing it because I think he brings an unfair advantage for us from an offensive standpoint. Yeah, how do you, you know, stop him? Well, nobody's got a guy like that. No, know? I've never had a guy like that. And 
to me, I've always said, I think we're dealing in 2035. You know, I think in 2035, there'll be six, seven, 400 pound people. Really? Right now there's one and he's a Baylor. Yeah. And so we, we've got to use him productively to help us win football games. And that's why we put him there. And he's a slim 403. He looks right good. Well, I've seen the man without a lot of clothes. He looks good. And you have a nickname for him, right? <laughs> well, I got a buck, but uh, <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's, he's just the big daddy. The you know, he, yeah, he's the annihilator. I mean, there's a bunch of them. You know, Coach, I, I, I was watching the Cotton Bowl, and I was caught up in the excitement of that play, and I think your team was as well. Oh, it's be, Jay. That, that, I know this has to be. I know. know. And, you know it and was, I'm a Big Ten guy, so I know what Michigan no. State can do. And as, as that celebration no, is spilling into the next drive, I, I'm thinking this no, game it, isn't yeah, over. No, no. And they scored three straight. What was the teaching moment in that for your kids? It seems obvious. Well, how do you how do you tell them, guys? You know, if you don't run through the tape, you're going to get caught. Well, the, and, and honestly, Jay, you're right. You know, we did. We got a little happy and got excited. You get happy, you get beat. You know, mm -hmm. so that that's my fault. That was a situation where it just kind of got caught up. If you were there, you could feel it. You could see it. I mean, every time he acted like he was going to run on the field, the crowd erupted. It went nuts. You know, and I'd have to say, Laquan, you got to step back, man. I mean, <laughs> nobody's watching the game. You know, but there were so many teaching points. After that, you know, I mean, you know, we intercept the pass, run back for a touchdown, get a call back, don't yes. get any points. You know, we get down there and get a penalty with first and go of three up by six with a minute 52 left, then no timeouts, get a call back on the penalty, then we get a field goal back, they go down in, in the game's history. So there are there a lot of teaching points, yeah. and, and it made us better. You know, it's a hard way to get better, you know, and uh, it's tough, but it's going to make us a better football team and a better staff. Right. Can't wait for this season. Our brows, thank you. It's all this. Let's play. Yeah. We love your style. Well, Keep it coming. <laughs> don't don't hold back. We love it. We ain't we ain't changing. We're I good. I love that. Coach, good luck. Okay. <laughs>